Einstein's Relativity Number 18 The Train In 1920, at a physics conference in Bad Nauheim, a colleague asked Einstein, How does it happen that it shall be indistinguishable according to this theory of relativity? Whether the train is decelerating or the world around is decelerating. Einstein could have said that there is a difference, but instead he said, It is for sure that we observe effects in relation to the train and if we want, we can interpret them as inertial effects. The theory of relativity can interpret them as effects of gravitational field as well. General relativity was Einstein's endeavor to understand the relationship between inertial and gravitational mass, acceleration, and how it all relates to space and time. The theory can be written as a single mathematical equation that, among other things, describes how planets orbit. The G on the left represents the shape of space-time. But Einstein combines the G with the symbols between the G and the equal sign that represent gravitational field. Back to the train or the world coming to rest. Collision is acceleration as it is a change in speed. The train coming to rest with the track and the track coming to rest with the train are spatially and mathematically equivalent if you ignore inertia field. In this theory the space is benign and merely functions as dimension for spatial description. When the train comes to rest with the track fastened to Earth, the train's inertia is temporarily dynamic. The block's inertia tugs the block down. If the track fastened to Earth came to rest with the train, the block on the train remains standing because the world came to rest with it. Spatially temporally and mathematically the train coming to rest with the world is equivalent to the world coming to rest with the train if you ignore inertia Einstein's colleague knew and we all know that the train coming to rest with the world is not equivalent to the world coming to rest with the train In inertia field theory, space-time is not inert, it's benign.